If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll demonstrate setting up a video call quality of experience or QOE test call and how to analyze the results. As a note, before you can run this test, if you are using a virtual smart zone, your virtual smart zone must be enabled for cloud services. So I have a tab open here for my smart zone. So to see that, I would go to my system and under general settings, under cloud services, you'll see that my cloud smart zone service is ticked on and also my Ruckus Analytics is ticked on. So I have to have these turned on in order to collect the data. And I just wanna point out that this requires a valid virtual smart zone right to use license. Also, as another note, both the RA admin and the client need to be connected to a Ruckus AP that is connected to either a virtual smart zone or a Ruckus cloud. It's also a best practice to make sure that you know the MAC address and host name for both the admin and the client as you'll need to know this information after the test call is finished. So to set up the test call from the Ruckus Analytics dashboard, I'm going to go to Service Validation and I'm going to click on Video Call QOE. And then what I have to do is create a test call. So I'll click on Create Test Call. And I'm going to call this one JP Test 8. I'm going to hit create and you'll notice that it brings up some information here. So it gives the name of the call. It gives the URL for the Zoom call that we're going to be doing here. It says to stay on the call for at least five to seven minutes, share both video and audio and connect to Wi-Fi over a Ruckus AP and use the Zoom application for a test call. So I'm going to click on this URL and I'll launch the meeting and then I'll join that with my computer audio. And because I'm recording this in the local, I'm just going to mute my box. So now what I'm going to do is to invite a participant. I'll use the default email. And I'm going to send this to JP for better Wi-Fi. And you'll notice here it has the Zoom URL, and then it also has the meeting ID and the passcode. So I'll go ahead and send that. And now I'm going to log on with my client. So now I've got both clients. So now I've established the call between the two people. I've got the admin, Jay Perro, and I got the JP for better Wi-Fi. At this point in time, we're going to share a video, chat back and forth, and use as much bandwidth as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and share my video. So now we've got both videos going. We're talking back and forth. If we can continue this for a normal conversation for a while. So this call has to go from five to seven minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to share some additional bandwidth. So then I'm going to go ahead and play a video. So that can use up some bandwidth, and I'll let this play for a while. So this has been going for a couple of minutes, so I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to let the client share their screen. So we'll have the client stream some video on their end now. So now the client is streaming some video from their end. We're taking a look at a PBS series on Mars here. So we're going to go ahead and let this stream for a little bit just so we can build up some bandwidth. And while this is playing, I could go ahead and do some chat so we could build up some additional bandwidth. And then we'll have the client respond. So I'll stop streaming the video and I'll send over a little chat. So I typed up, can you see me? And we'll see if the client will respond to that. And they say, yep, I can see you loud and clear. So we've got a text message just going. We're doing video. We're streaming back and forth. So I'm going to let this run for about seven minutes and then I'll stop the video. All right, it's now been about seven minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, leave the meeting. And now the meeting is stopped. I'm going to close out my screen here. And you'll notice here that it says JP test eight. It says it's not started yet. So I'm going to have to refresh my screen. And after refreshing, now it says that the call has ended. So at this point, we can go ahead and analyze our results. Now that we've run our test, it says that it's ended. We got a green dot, which is good. If it was a red dot, it means it was a poor quality. Then I can click on the test call report and open that up. Let's go through and analyze a little bit of what we have here. So overall, the video call QOE was good. And you'll notice here under the participating details that we have two participants. And one of these participants, Jay Perro, 
we have a client MAC address and we also have the AP MAC address, the SSID, and talk, which radio is used and so forth. And if we click over the good button out here, it shows us what our RSSI, SNR, throughput, average, MCS, and so forth is. So we're all good to go. We're green on that. So the question is, is how do I come up with this information? This is not populated automatically and we have to add this. Now, I've already added this one. In order to get this information, I have to know my client's MAC address or the host name or I could know the AP's MAC address and so forth. One place to find that information, for example, if you're using a virtual smart zone, would be to look in your smart zone. And here is an example under my smart zone under wireless clients. You can see the host name. You can see the IP address, the MAC address, the wireless LAN that was used, the AP's MAC address, and so forth. So I can get that information from there. If I was using Ruckus Cloud, I could also get that information in there. This is also why I said at the beginning, so the QOE test best practices is to gain this information before you actually do the test. So it makes it a little quicker to do this because it's only going to be between two people. So you're going to you want to get the client and the host name and so forth. So in order to add this, I can go to the pencil so I can select a client and I can search for a client Mac, a username or a host name. So I'm going to go ahead and put the host name in here that I had collected. And I'll do a search for that and you'll notice that it comes up with the client's Mac. It says the username is unknown and it gives me the host name over here. To add that, I can save that information and it'll go ahead and populate that row. So now overall, we have the participants, the client Mac's address, the IP address, network type. In this case, we're Wi-Fi, which is what we're testing the join time and the leave time. So remember, we wanted to be between five and seven minutes. So we started at 8.57 and ended at 9.09. Tells you what those are for each one. Tells me what the AP is. It tells me what the AP details are. So it gives me the AP's Mac, gives me the SSID. And in this case, I was using a five gigahertz for my client and then 2.4 gigahertz for my RA admin PC. Notice that it's good on all these conditions. So we're good to go for that. If I scroll down, this gives me my Zoom call statistics. So we're gonna look at jitter, latency, video frame rate, and packet loss. So under jitter, we're good to go here, very little jitter on that. Under latency, we're in the green, so everything is good there. Notice how it breaks it out between the two clients. In this case, they're both 17 milliseconds. I don't have any noticeable packet loss. And under my video frame rate, you can see that it's for 14 frames per second versus 23 frames per second for the client. If I wanted to present this table in a little different format, I can click on this icon that says table and that'll give me the information in a little bit different format. If I scroll back up here, for example, if I wanted to look at more detail on this client Mac, I could go ahead and select that and that'll take me over to the analysis under client troubleshooting. In this case, I don't really have much data there, so it hasn't been on long enough to really collect a lot of data. So let's go back under the Mac. If I clicked on the AP's Mac, that would take me over to my report section under AP details. And now I can get all kinds of information on that particular access point. I can get a summary, I can get a performance details, update history, traffic trend, traffic by radio, average traffic, and so forth. So you can see that we can get a ton of information here. So let's go back. So in the event, if you actually had a bad connection versus a good connection, you could look at the Zoom call statistics. You can start analyzing this to get an, an idea of what the problem may be. And based upon the analysis, you could then make recommendations for what to fix. So this concludes our demonstration on how to set up a video call quality of experience test call and how to analyze the results.